Just in front there. Now it's a big highway and everything. No condos, right? All small houses, small road, and the temple over there. So I used to hang out. This is my I used to hang, running around like you know. And then I used to go and sit down in that, that beautiful temple over there and sit outside and hear this great music. That was Indian Indian drumming. Indian drumming, yeah. In the temple, it's a regular temple service every evening. You know. So as a kid, you just grew up hearing the. And the then music. every evening, I used to just go and sit there next uh, there. After a while, they were like. If I didn't go one day, they were, what happened to you yesterday? Like, yeah. I had to go behind all the Chinese drummers used to practice for the dragon dance every oh, year. So I go and hang out with those guys. I heard all this stuff, I said, wow, you know. We have everything right around us. I mean, why can't I take this? And, and I'm proud to be Asian. I'm going to make something from Asia, you know. Mix it up. During certain ceremonies, they have procession here with hundreds of people and drums playing and chariots and stuff. They still do it during Taipusam. It's packed on the roadside, you see these guys playing, it's like... You see the Indian temple there, the Buddhist temple that side, uh, you know, the, the English schools, the Malay schools, the Chinese schools. And I think we are probably maybe the only country in the world that's got such a mix. Uh, we should be proud of that. I mean, like, for Christmas, people come to my house, Chinese New Year, we go to... My Chinese friend's house, we eat there for Hari Raya, for Malay. They, you know, we go and eat in their house, they bring us food, and you find all the religions, all the races, all in this one place. Do they all get along? Really well. Otherwise, we'd have collapsed a long time ago. Otherwise, this country would be in a mess. <laughs> this is a city, you know? <laughs> that is cool, I, I like this. You have your hands and dogs somewhere around that side. Yeah. Those days are different, we didn't have money at all. You know, wherever we could play, we wanted to go play. So we see fun fair, we see circus, anywhere we go play. Chinese, you know, nightclubs, you know. We used to rehearse like crazy. I mean, every day, six hours, seven, we just yeah. keep playing, rehearsing the tune. Uh, our time, we just play. No Facebook, no computer. Oh, video we had. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. 
27. 27. Yeah. Yeah. He's a kid. You don't look 27. Oh. You don't look like, you look like what, 15 or something, right? 17. Or something. 17, okay, 17. Minus <laughs> 10. <laughs> yeah, two generations of musicians playing together. Yeah. Yeah. The, other, the other guys did all the other shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is the next generation of people are doing stuff. I think yeah. that's incredible. Oh, nice. Going to a Christian church? <coughs> yes, Catholic. Yeah. Catholic. Are you still Catholic? Mm-hmm. Oh. I haven't been in church in a while, but I'm Catholic. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't change. I like going to church when there's nobody there, man. You know. Me too. Nice and quiet. You know, it's like, I go there to pray. I don't go there to pray. Looking around, who's wearing what? I'm not time for that. We're still in Brickfields, the other part of Brickfields. Uh, that was the earlier part where I grew up, and this uh, AT area, and in front of this. Beautiful Buddhist temple. I used to come hang out here and just listen. I think the places of worship in the world are open to everybody. I can be a Catholic, but I love coming to this temple. You know, I just sit outside and go, wow, you know. Any time of the day, as long as you open, you go in, yeah. you pray. Outside there, we're in the city, right? And suddenly you come in here, suddenly it's like a different world, isn't it? Everything's like very different and calm. And you hear the chants and it's like it's its own planet within here, its own world in here. Sometimes we think we are so big, you know, we're nobody. Isn't it? Look at this incredible man, you know, this, this Buddha and what he's done, you know, we are nothing. So it teaches you humility as well. I'm always on a natural high, I tell people. I'm naturally high, I don't need no drugs. Because when I get on the drum set, I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, here we go, you know, I'm right there. Not to make mistakes. Nobody like, wants to make mistakes. Like but in your case, uh, they're just saying that you need a starting point. So all the stuff that you study, you can transcribe. You know, uh, Esperanza ain't gonna work unless you let it get and then get used to it, and then you find wow, you know, uh, whatever you've got inside that you're listening to, they start coming out. The door is still locked. Okay. Thank you. That's the answer. She's you owe me five bucks. She <laughs> <laughs> owe me five dollars. 
The drumming is influenced not just by the music around me, but the cultures, because music is affected by everything, isn't it? Our food, the people we hang out with, you know, the religion uh, that we belong to. I found my sound, my voice, my identity around me. I, I'm lucky, it's so close to me, I found it. I latched on to it. Maybe somebody has to find it, uh, find theirs somewhere else, you know. I don't know where, it's, but it's cool. And this is the church, it's called the Lady of Fatima Church in Brickfields, where I actually got my musical start here in this church. I used to play in the church groups, uh, you know, campfire type songs. You know, ding jang guitar, jack ding jang guitar, but you know, also some, um, uh, some gospel music, very simple stuff. But after, that'll be doing the service. But after that, it'll be just fun, fun music. That's why I say music has got this incredible energy to bring people together, you know. It's a very, very powerful medium to really bring people together and keep them together, you know. A sports doesn't do it for me. Because you guys, somebody coming in yellow, somebody coming in red and fighting with each other. You go for a concert, everybody wearing whatever they want to wear. That's the way I see it, you know. I mean, the whole universe is based on rhythm. Anyway. Everything we do is based on rhythm. You know, all the, the, the currents, you know, the sea, the way we walk, it's all rhythm. You know, our lifestyle, you know, we go to work in the morning, coming in, you know. It, it's, it's all rhythmic, you know. Because you take out rhythm, everything's going to fall apart. Everything's going to fall apart. <laughs>